Frederick. Feels good to be making a video together again. Yeah. Just you and me. It's been a while. Um, so tomorrow is a big day for income school, and I just want to give a quick shout out before today's video. Um, I've spent years working on a book. It's called Work Energy. It's about accomplishing your goals and getting to where you want to be in life, uh, but with the framework of create, creating an as internet business. Uh, so check it out. It's available on Audible and on Amazon. You can pre-order it right now today, and it will be available for you tomorrow. First thing, you'll be getting it. It's hardback, paper book, Kindle, or whatever you want. It's there. <laughs> and it will explain why we look filthy for this video. <laughs> We've been in my shop for the last two weeks working on a special welding project. <laughs> We made the Tesla Cybertruck. <laughs> or so something have, like it. Or something like it. So we have special a special video tomorrow. Special video awesome. tomorrow. You're going to love it. It's going to be fun. But so check that out. Today, we want to talk to you about how, within one year's time, to build a blog that earns $1,000 a month. What does it take to make $1,000 a month from a blog? Well, within a year's time, like realistically, about 45,000 page views a month. Um, you're going to be able to earn from that about $675 a month just from ads. Mm -hmm. um, it's pretty awesome. At that level, you can get ads on Mediavine and earn an RPM 12 to twelve to $17 mm -hmm. pretty much. Mm -hmm. um, pretty awesome. And then what makes up the difference there is going to be affiliate, about $325 a month. And those are pretty conservative numbers. Yeah, I think so. I think if you were, tr if you're trying just a blog centric approach mm -hmm. to make $1,000 a month, 45,000 page views would be a pretty solid way to get there. Um, people have earned a lot more than $1,000 a month with a lot less traffic, and we've also seen some worse than that. So I think $45,000 um, or 45,000 page, page views, views would be a good thing to shoot for. Um, and that would be a good breakdown how to do it. You could do it much sooner with an info product or something, but if you're going for $1,000 a month, my guess is you want this to be really passive. Right. You don't want to be doing customer service and stuff. And so ads and affiliate are probably a good good bet for doing that. So in this video, let's walk through the process of how to get there starting today to where like December 2020, you can be earning $1,000 a month. Um, again, no business is guaranteed to succeed. Our lawyers make us say that. But this is about the most guaranteed approach I think that you could take to make sure that that could happen for you. So a couple ways not to do this. Um, first of all, I think going all ads as your plan is not going to work. And that's important to understand right up front because if we're getting a $12 RPM, that means uh, revenue per million or per thousand page views. If we're getting a $12 RPM, which is pretty normal, mm -hmm. um, at you, it would take 83,000 page views a month in order to get that $1,000. So that's, hard. Can you get to one thousand to 83,000 page views in a month or in a month? Within a year. Within a year. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> definitely. Um, but if it's your very first attempt at it and you want to have some margin in there for making mistakes, I wouldn't go in with that plan. So knowing that that probably isn't going to work, I think you have to realize right up front, I can't just rely on ads to get where I want to be. I probably need to have something else and it's probably going to be affiliate. So as you're choosing topics, as you're uh, doing your monetization, you need to realize that I have to make something else work to get to my goal. But that said, there are many, many affiliate opportunities out there well beyond Amazon. Yes. And that's the other thing is to hit this target. I wouldn't rely solely on Amazon for affiliate marketing. So hit this video <laughs> yeah. that we just did and now Ricky has taught me where to point, uh, where we talked about the top like paying years. affiliate programs. <laughs> it did take like two years. Um, but that can be really helpful to just yeah. figure that out and how to do it. So here's the roadmap. We start today. It is the beginning of a new year or the, I guess, the end of one, um, but about to begin a new year. First day right now, go set up your website. Mm -hmm. Get it up in one day. Um, I mean, we have a tutorial on income school that we can link to that walks you through exactly how to go set up your hosting, get WordPress installed, pick a theme, and just get your site set up. Do not be intimidated. This is really simple to yeah. get hosting WordPress, get a basic theme, and get to the point that you can start creating content. Now, I like what you said about doing that in one day, yeah. because this is something that a lot of people spend four or five weeks messing with colors, trying to make it all look fancy. That's Meanwhile, what I did. they're not making content that could be growing on Google. The first time I made a blog, I spent hours researching themes. I picked one that was super popular, 
but it turned out to not be what I wanted. And then I spent hours upon hours upon hours trying to customize it and make it look like other websites that use totally different themes that I liked better. It was a big mistake, but I didn't know any better. So this is key. There is one thing you can do as a blogger, as a YouTube, as an internet marketer in general, that will drive 90% of the success or failure of your business. It's creating content and putting it out into the world. Mm -hmm. You have to check yourself. There's so much you can do and become busy with and checking your analytics and getting a new logo and changing colors and fancying up this post and whatever. If you ever have a work day or a work hour where you didn't at the end of it press publish, you really need to sit back and say, okay, something went wrong. Yeah. Uh, you should be pressing publish every day. That's the 90% action. That's what gets you there. And every time I look up and I say, whoo, my business isn't doing so well, what happened? I say, oh shoot, I've kind of been busy with stuff and I haven't been publishing for the last couple months. So that's the 90% action, you do it. So you need to set a day, like design a day where that can happen in an hour before, right when you wake up before that, while well, the house is still quiet in you know an hour right after work, where you just sit in your car with a laptop or during a, a lunch, lunch hour, hour bingo. Yeah. Um, wherever that is, like build that into your day and then just groundhog it. You remember the, mo the movie Groundhog Groundhog's Day, day where yeah. you just wake up in the same thing over and <laughs> just groundhog that day until you get there. Uh -huh. um, this is really simple. These metrics we talked about, like the numbers I would want to see to get to $1,000 a month. Um, if you're doing that regularly, you produce 50 blog posts in the first three months, you really crank that out and then you slow down to about two a week. Yeah, you should get there by the end of the year. If you're making two YouTube videos a week, yeah, you should get there by the end of the year. It's not a guarantee. Some people are going to fail. Some people are going to say 1,000, posh, I, I poop on a golden toilet now. <laughs> um, they're just going to do much better than that, right? But I, I think it's totally doable. Figure out what the 90% action is and then just do it over and over again. And I think like the fact that you said that fairly quickly might just make it not seem important. But those first three months, 50 blog posts in the first three months is... I mean, we, we've thrown out different numbers in the past, 30 blog posts in two months and 50, art, you know, 100 articles in the first four months. If you keep up that quick pace at the very beginning in those first few months of your website, that is going to, there are a lot of aspects of the ranking algorithm for Google and other search engines that really feed off of that quick new content. If you go really, really, really slow, there's a chance that you just never get any sort of velocity, any momentum going on your website. So that's why it's important is groundhog that day until you have 50 blog posts on your website. And then after that, create a week in which two pieces of content get published and groundhog that week. But that's a blog focused approach. Right. What if you go the other direction and you wanna go a YouTube approach? So you and I have made a secret YouTube channel yep. that we've told nobody about except for our Project 24 members so that we don't get an unfair advantage of all Absolutely. you guys swarming that channel and making it look like it succeeded faster than it really did. So we made it totally incognito. Uh, we just started putting content out there and in 13 weeks, we were all ready to $850 a month. Um, it's a, lot less, yeah. it's a lot less than a year. <laughs> That's a lot less. Yeah. So it, it can be really exciting. Now, YouTube versus blog, there are great reasons to choose both. And a hybrid is an excellent choice to make, especially in 2020, going with both, uh, both kind of sites on there. So if I were to start a YouTube channel and my goal were to get to 1,000 a month, I think I would rely about 70 to 80% of that income to come from YouTube ads. Yeah. We're doing really well on YouTube Actually, ads. Actually, in terms of like RPM, it's at least as good as blogs. It's, it's doing pretty well. And it's well. easier to get the traffic. If you, the reason we hear that YouTube ads stink is because we hear from these people like, how much I earned from this 1 million view video. And it's like a 12 year old girl who did a, a makeup video or whatever. Right. The audience is 12 year old girls. It's just right. not a very expensive well, audience. And that's the thing is if you're that, going to an adult audience, right. you're going to get more. A lot of these like really entertaining videos that go viral earn a very small amount per view. Mm -hmm. And it's just because there is no commercial intent. The target audience is super broad. And so advertisers are less intrigued by that. But if you have a focused 
industry for your topic and you know a fairly targeted audience, then you're going to be gathering a group of people that advertisers will want to reach out to. And you actually earn substantially more. So I would have a goal to have about 10,000 subscribers on YouTube to earn a thousand a month. That's a totally crazy, you know, you can move that, you can earn a lot more with fewer, and some people 10,000 subscribers are earning nothing. You can do it a lot of different ways, but generally about 10,000 subscribers, I think it'd be a reasonable number to be earning $1,000. We have a full process for how to get to those levels of subscribers and much higher and how to monetize that many other ways mm -hmm. in Project 24. It's something that we've been doing and something that we've been teaching. So if you're in Project 24, make sure you go check out that YouTube course. And that really, really it really is key because we hear, we see so many YouTubers who have 100,000 subscribers and the only way they can think of to earn money is they're selling like t-shirts with their logo Coffee on it. They're selling merch, merch. right? Yeah. Um, like there is a lot to building a business around YouTube and yeah. getting a valuable audience and growing that quickly. And that's in our course um, in Project 24. So if you're a member, definitely check that out. Thanks everybody for checking out our video and for checking out Work Energy available on Audible and Amazon right now.